today I'm going to enhance an IMDU pick or any avatar pick in GIMP. Now first of all you have your pick and when you take your pick make sure the background is out of it unless you're willing to edit the background or whatever. So first I'm going to enhance the hair. I'm going to do the burn tool, the dodge tool right there. I'm going to go to mid tone and go ahead and go across the hair. I know it looks kind of like it's getting light and grayish, but that's what I want it to do because my next step is really important that it's a little brighter than you want it to be. Okay. Now that you've done that, <clears throat> go here to color, brightness and contrast, and bring it up some contrast. You can leave the brightness alone if you have a good contrast. I think that's what I'm going to do. Just put it at negative 3 and 12, 14. Yeah, negative 3 and 14 looks good. And after that, I want to go and go to filters and blur in the second blur down here. And as far as this one goes, I really, really like it to be like at two. One or two are really, really good. So I'm going to two. Okay. And now I show my skin. I'm going to go here to the burn tool. It was on dodge while ago, now put it on burn and put it on shadows. And this is just if you want your skin to be darker, you'll do it like this. It makes your skin not darker. But if you want your skin a certain way, that, that was for shadow. This one's for mid tones. You have a nice basic, like tan skin glow. And highlights, I don't think I need to see highlights, but it makes it really dull. I'm going to use the highlight first though. And as for all of that, I want to go and use the shadow. That's one of my favorite tools right now on the face. And like I said, if you want to use it, you can use it on the clothes too. Enhances those colors in the clothes. And see that little spot right there that I didn't even select it? I select that with the select tool and I'm going to burn it, but I'm going to put the exposure down some more so I don't overdo it. I think I just selected it. Oops. Well, I'm going to select it anyway. Go to there and go ahead and try to get that little piece in there. to get the gist. And now it's a lot more pretty. And now basically what I want to do is do another one of those um enhancing things. Just go ahead to sharpen and around the eyes sharpen that a few times. I, I can't do it as much as I'd like because I already have glasses on it. But if your Abby doesn't have glasses, sharpen the eye will be very, very pretty, very bright. I'm gonna make the scale this smaller to show you what I mean a little bit. And the eye is getting very enhanced and gorgeous. And make sure you do it both. And I always like to sharpen the lips. It gives it a nice diffuse glow and it's nice. Do it a couple of times, two or three times. And as for jewelry, it is very good to sharpen jewelry. It brings out the bling in it. Okay, now that that's all done there. Here's some jewelry down here too. Okay. Now go to filters again and go to blur and the second one again. And 
and this time try not to overdo it I think I'm gonna keep it at two maybe three maybe two yeah I'll put it at three now make another layer this is just for people who want to do a background and if you don't want to do a background this is just as great to end it but if you do a background take that new layer and drag it behind the, the other layer and when I do my backgrounds I genuinely like to do this go to the branches down here and pick anyone you want now I want something to go with my avatar because she's wearing blue. I think I want to pick one that has oranges and yeah, let's put oranges for contrast of blue. That'd be very nice. So yeah, that's about right here what you do. And go over here, the the blend tool, branch it, and I'm gonna show you something. Click up here, hold it, and drag it down to the other corner, and let go. Now that the yellow is at the top left corner but I'll control Z and go back if I do it like this from left to right you see that the yellow is up here the orange is up here I like it better like that so I'm going to keep that but you can do it any way you want like basically I do it again it'll change it to anything you like different ways you could do this I'll keep that one and now as far as the background goes just merge down and a little more for you this is the end of the editing segment but if you like to put a little animation in your um, in your picture go over here make two new layers and as for this layer on the scene okay get a brush tool and what I have to do is to make sparkles kind of like sparkly Take one of these X um, brushes and make it bigger, as big as you need it to be, and any color you like. I'm gonna click here. I'm gonna think I wanna make mine like a silvery white color. That's great. Okay. I'm gonna click here and here and three, four. Okay, four there, and click the next layer, and put it places where it's not on this one, like here, space them out from here to here. Three should be fine, maybe three needs to here, one right here. And now look at that, but you're not leaving like that. Go over here, pick a smaller brush, right there, and won't you see that? Unclick one of these layers, make it invisible. And all these X's that you see, make a little X inside of it. You won't be able to really see it, but once the animation starts, you'll see it. It's on the wrong layer though. Make sure you're on this layer. Oh no, I'm on the right layer. Haha. <laughs> Never mind. Okay. This. Do it on all of them. Okay. And as for this, you see those? All those that see right there. Make sure you're on this layer. And all, all these big ones, put the X in there. Little X. And the big X's. Probably doesn't look like much right now, but do that there. And make sure that's perfect. And now we'll go over here to filter. Because we're going to make it blend and look better. So over here, we go to animation. Make it to blend. You have to have at least three layers over here to the blend, in which we do. So I'll do blend. It should pop up. 
and intermediate frames. I like to keep it at three, make it mix it smooth, makes it better, and it's not as laggy. So go ahead, push OK, and give it time to to make it. Should make another thing right here, and let's see a final product. If you go to the one that just popped up, go to file, no, go to um filters, animation, and playback. And this should be like a little too fast, but you edit the um, speed. As you see, mine is glowing. Blooming, and you know. Now, as for that goes, go over here and make sure you do this. You have to do this exactly right. Go to File, Save As. And save this as any animation. And go here, extension, select file type, and scroll down to GIF GIMP image and save it. Now save as animation. This will be selected automatically. So you have to go make sure you click save as animation and export. And as far as this goes, you have to actually pick what you know the timing is on your on your picture. I'll make mine so that the animation isn't too fast or too slow. That's the generally how you're supposed to do it. Okay. In milliseconds, I highly recommend you go around three, between three and five hundred, three fifty and five hundred. I'll put mine at four ninety. I don't really like it that high though. I'm gonna try three fifty. 369 better. That's good. And now go here and to where I saved it in pictures. I saved with any pic. And now I double click to open it. It should open in um, Internet Explorer. And you see how, how it looks as a finished product. Remember, we edit the skin. Edited the hair and also by effect edit the clothing. And in the background, we did granite for the background and the animation, which was a two slide step. We blended it and made it look um, more smooth. And now there's the finished product.